So on that note, good luck, good riddance. Tomorrow, coming into this experiment, I knew that there would be many things I'd have to overcome in order to grow, and that throwing myself headfirst into a marriage was certainly going to stretch me as an individual. Two very stern, yet similar souls met their match the day we got married. We clashed from the beginning, and that was half the fun. From there, we rode the waves of our honeymoon, intimacy challenges, and honesty boxes. I was proud of what we achieved together. But our strength was in our teamwork. We inspired the group to come together as one. When we were good, the group was good, and we did that together. Tamara, you have this great ability to get people excited about almost anything. Your energy is what attracted me most to you. You have the ability to light up a room when you walk in. It was the little things you did for me, like trying to show affection even though you really didn't like to, that led to our relationship being the strongest it had ever been. Our relationship is capable of great things when we are thoughtful, understanding, kind, and genuine. But we often had to hit rock bottom to get to this place. Unfortunately, the downhill spiral to the bottom was filled with disrespect. Closer to the end, as the stresses of the experiment really started to wear us down and that homesick feeling set in, your true colors showed. You became vindictive, spiteful, and self-absorbed. I was made to feel like a fool, chasing you around for the smallest amount of decency and respect that anyone in the world should show another human. The screaming, the breakdown of communication, the refusal to give in or let go, and eventually the inability to be kind destroyed us. And you never took responsibility for your part in our fate. Time and time again, I would be the one coming back to you, trying to find some middle ground. No matter how hard I tried to mend things between us, it felt like you were only ever thinking about yourself. Tamara, after all we've been through together over the last few months, I finally have the clarity I've been lacking for so long now. I've seen the real you, the one who doesn't respect me or anyone around her. You don't have any real loyalty to anyone, and I realize you lack all the qualities I'm looking for in a partner. You are not God's gift to humanity, so stop looking down on everyone. I don't even know where you get the confidence to do so. So on that note, good luck, good riddance. I just needed to leave. I needed to say my piece and leave. And I don't think that anything else that I have to say is gonna make a difference. I'm definitely walking out of here with my head held high with integrity and with no regrets.